DataStream is a source for deep historical data on instruments such as equities, bonds, futures and options, interest rates, commodities, and exchange rates, plus macroeconomic data. To use Workspace, the first thing you'll need to do is register for an account. I'm here at the Ford Library webpage, and I'm going to cursor up to Databases, and then select A to Z list. Then I'll drop down to LSEG Workspace, and that will allow us to begin the registration. Now we're going to begin our registration. Note that we do have data stream listed here if you need more information on it, as well as our database terms of use. And when you have a moment, please take a look at those. So let's self-register. As you go through, you'll notice that we have a some different add-ons you can get. I would highly recommend not only that you get the data stream add-on, but for those of you who plan to use it more, these AMR reports that are listed are aftermarket research reports that get that too. Just, just do it. And we're going to go ahead and start our registration. This will take us to the LSEG workspace page. Enter your email address. And as you're going through here, you have the chance to get the desktop software module added to your account. I would highly recommend doing that if you're working with data stream. It um, just makes it a little easier. So I'm going ahead and pulling up my desktop software, entering my information, and I'll click sign in. Once I'm logged in, I'm on my own home screen for Workspace. To locate DataStream, come up to the top in the search bar, type in DSLib, and select My DataStream Library. This will load probably a blank screen, as you see here, with not much to tell you what to do. Because you are looking for data rather than charts, uh, this is going to seem a little counterintuitive, but the first thing you want to do when you're in here is select chart. That's going to allow us to go in and start finding our series. So I'm clicking chart. And once I've entered chart, I'm going to click on from the first line, uh, find series. And this opens up what used to be known as the data stream navigator. I just clicked clear all so you can see that we now sort of have a blank screen for searching and under the categories, as I mentioned when we started this, these are all of the different instruments that you can locate within data stream. What I want to do is for this search is to just search a single equity. So I'm going to come up to the search bar. Actually, I'm going to select equities first. I'm going to come up to our search bar and type in Merck. Adjust the screen a bit. And as I said, Merck. Then click Search. And I'm just going to select the series and then click Use. And this is just one company. And we have a chart here going back to price dated to 1975. That's the base date. If you want, you can change that. So I'm going to change this to the past two years. And there we have our chart. And because you probably want the data behind the chart, I'm going to go up here to the upper right and click the Data button. And this will transfer that to an actual table. Now, before you go to download this to Excel, what I want you to do is open up Excel. And this is why you want to work with the um, desktop software, because it'll give you a little more power within Excel to come in and eventually come in and create your own um, formulas. So I've clicked Workspace, and I'm connecting to it, basically signing in. If you need help loading uh, the Workspace add-in, please let us know. I'm going to go back to my sheet now and go ahead and cl click Excel and export this. Okay. 
and I'll go down again to my spreadsheet and see the data has been downloaded. So let's try something new this time. We're going to select several companies. I'm going to start by clicking Create New Chart, and we're not going to save our Merck search. We'll just start with a new one. Again, at line one, I'm going to go up to the arrow and select Find New Series. This brings us back to the data stream navigator, and you'll notice that it's looking at the same search. It was looking at Merck, so I've cleared that. I'm going back to Equities. And for the sake of this search, I'm just going to select a few of the companies that are listed here. So Apple and uh, Google and Walmart. And I'll click Use. And again, this is going to come in and give us the price data for these companies. Um, we can do more than that, though. So I can actually start typing in Apple. And you'll notice if I click that arrow, I can select data types, and this allows us to grab different types of information. So if you wanted, say, the dividend yield or the market value, you can come in and click the symbol. So I'm going to click market value. And it's going to pop in the market value for the same time period. And I'll do the same uh, for Google. And go back to our little arrow, data type, find data type. Click that symbol again, and let's add Walmart. Know that you can just type this in, so I'm going to type in um, U colon WMT, and then open parens, MV, close parens for market value. And that will populate. Once again, we can uh, go over to our Excel icon and download this data. I'll click OK. Since I still have opened the last sheet I was working in, you'll see that Merck is over on the left, and then that's followed by the data we just requested. Now you can go into series and dates and change your data if you want to. So if you wanted to actually change the chart, you can go into chart settings and you'll notice that we have an area where we can ch change the dates, the start and end date. We can also change the frequency, so from daily to monthly. And I'll click OK to make that change. If we wanted to, we could also go in and click save as let's go over here save as and this allows us to save this search and i have a private file that has jane's stuff in it by default they start with your first um, instrument so it's apple in there i'm going to change this to my tutorial set and because that probably won't make sense to me in the days to come i can then just be add a description of telling me why I did this and I'm saying I use this set of companies to show others how to load and save their data. So I hope this has helped you uh, get started with data stream. When you're finished if you go up into the top of the search bar and type in out that will allow you to sign out. If you have questions regarding this or other resources available from the Ford Library, please contact us by chat, phone, or email.